Hey guys, good evening. Hello. Perfect. Hi. Awesome. New spot for y'all too. How y'all doing? Again. Good. Yeah. yeah. No, real good. <laughs> yeah. Well, happy belated yeah, yeah. birthday. So, indeed, happy birthday. Oh yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Um, Two days ago. It was it was a whirlwind out there. It was really cool. Um, we got surprised many times in those two days, like June 5th and June 6th. Like some people came out to meet us that we had no idea we're going to. So it was super cool. Oh, that's okay. nice. That's nice. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, thank you. Yeah, we, um, yesterday she came, um, this woman drove like two and a half hours from Ohio. Well, it was a whole family. It was, um, what was her name? Munch and SOS. SOS is their 14 year old daughter and then the dad's name which I've totally forgotten and then like a family friend yeah all drove two hours with like a full picnic spread situation uh, oh just full sandwiches like she tried to give us a full resupply which we couldn't take because uh we have to pack out our own stuff um but like she literally had an entire truck bed like decked out it was it was insane it was insanity wow that's amazing that's real nice yeah <laughs> And then the day before, another follower, Ian, met us at, like, just showed up near this campground that we walked right through and gave us, like, chicken Caesar salad and drinks. And, yeah, yeah we got to hang out with him for a bit. So lots of surprise trail magic, this section. And it was really cool because we were in a national forest. So, like, middle of nowhere, kind of. Yeah. And you would never... They, like this was the most remote section we've done like we weren't in front country we were pretty not back country but we were deep within like a forest and people just kept popping up and we're like oh okay that's that's something <laughs> oh that's really nice though yeah so how, how y'all been how's uh how's been the bouncing around going back and forth all that all that type of stuff tiring uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We just want to continue with the with the travels, but we still have to figure some things out for the caravan, for the car. Um, but yeah, we've got Hopefully. everything fixed or upgraded the suspension on the car, um, so that it would be more comfortable right with the caravan behind it and while doing off road trips. Um, yeah. But then another light in the dashboard now pops up and. The braking with the caravan is not going very smoothly yet, so that needs to be fixed. <laughs> so you just go from one thing in the next, but eventually uh, it will all be fixed and yeah. we'll be on our way again. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, that's Magpie probably has many stories like that. Magpie always has something wrong with it, and the <laughs> um, it's from 1991, and so the check engine light is always on because the uh -huh. sensor is wired incorrectly, and so when the dashboard engine light turns off then you need to worry <laughs> <laughs> yeah. hey you guys are oh. back um, yes yeah the wi-fi just all right i just i, I turned off the wi-fi because the motel wi-fi is just a little sporadic for us mm -hmm. okay yeah yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> we, we yeah so <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. well i mean it's still a not super nice motel, but it's a fifty dollar motel, which yeah. is the nice part. It's mm. nice. That is the nice part. And we I mean what drew us to it too, we called the woman from like the first time we had service yesterday. And because like there are a few situated around here and this was like the significantly cheaper one. So we called her just to get a feel for it. And she was so helpful that we're like, okay, we gotta stay there. And yeah, yeah it's I can see Taco Bell from the window uh, again. again. <laughs> the last time we talked, I could yeah. see Taco Bell from the window. This might be a reoccurring theme, and this is not great for me. I mean, it's great for me, but not great for my system. And yeah, yeah it's a reoccurring theme. And his system's still working out the bugs, basically. So for the last section, all he ate basically was cheese and protein bars terrible idea and so he was terrible a little bit idea. the digestion was a little slow we could say <laughs> and every day he's like still not happening it's still <laughs> just sitting in there <laughs> like we gotta get you some fiber man uh you yeah. gotta blend your diet cheese and protein bars may sound good but it's not great for 180 miles no no, no. <laughs> <I can't imagine. laughs> Oh man, but I do. We do need to give y'all a high five because I did eat three eggs yesterday. Okay, 
Boiled eggs. Wow. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, yeah, our, our trail magic still, folks right? packed our... Oh, sorry? Sorry? It's still not enough, right? The average is really bad right now. <laughs> I, I, I need to... I need to up the average heavily to visit. I mean, if I keep pushing it off, it's just going to get yeah. more and more and more. So, yeah, it's not great right now. No, no. But did you enjoy those three? <laughs> I did. I wanted to eat all six, well, but Magpie enjoyed, wouldn't let me. the first two, and he's like, all right, that's enough eggs. I'm like, we had just eaten. The people who brought us trail magic brought the eggs as a joke. Yeah. And he was like, ate two, which I think they weren't expecting. And, and then, they were not expecting me. And he's like, all right, eggs. I'm done with eggs. I'm going to like move on to watermelon now. And I was, I just looked at him and went, that sounds like a good choice. And he goes, oh, are you daring me to eat more eggs? <laughs> <laughs> and I went, no. And then he's like, I'm going to eat another egg. And then after that, he's like, the third egg was a mistake. <laughs> yeah. I get stuck in my own jokes and then I have to go deeper into the jokes. I don't start climbing out. I climb deeper. I climb deeper and deeper there. Climb or dig. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, dig. Dig deeper, <laughs> dig yeah. Deeper. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, well. Yeah. <laughs> so good, though. Yeah. We, we saw some amazing pictures of you guys walking mm. through very nice forests. and. Oh, yeah. So yeah, the Allegheny Forest, I think, so far was both of our favorite section. Two mm. thumbs up. It was really, well... The last time we talked to them, we were in Cortland. We had just started the Finger Lakes Trail. Yeah, we've done a chunk of change, I think, since we've talked to y'all. Finger Lakes Trail was an experience. Yeah. <laughs> we kind of knew that going into that it one. Was, uh, they're trying hard, but it's just a difficult, for the most part, the Finger Lakes Trail goes through very populated areas. Hmm. And so what they were trying to do was getting, trying to route us through all of these little tiny state parks that are... Okay. You know, parcels of land a couple just of acres very small and so it was up and down and then all the way back over here and a lot of it too they're trying to get it off of the roads but the way that they're doing that is by putting you getting easements on farmers, farmers fields. fields yeah and so instead of taking us straight across on a road you would do part of a road walk up into a field into a windbreak behind the field and then walk down the other side of the field and get back on the same road yeah and it's like okay well there's this it's the same distance but now we have to walk through tall grass like why did you do this so we finally get to the boundary of the allegheny national forest yeah. which is a, a huge park and it's a huge tourist draw and they have funding and so it's got these beautifully designed trails as well as well maintained so with the finger lakes trail because it's so designed for day hikers a lot of the time they're like we're gonna get you up to this viewpoint and then straight back down and then oh you're doing 30 miles today we've got four more of those for you <laughs> oh, to go see these scenic viewpoints because you're a day hiker and you're doing 10 miles right yeah. and it's like yeah. we're not doing that actually yeah. but with the allegheny national forest is actually some of it's based on um old hunting trails from the Haudenosaunee people that used to be in the area and so it's a trail that actually is designed to take you somewhere <laughs> Yeah. And so instead of routing you up and over everything steep, they could have done that. But really, it's thought out as like, OK, if you're doing 30 miles on this trail, we're going to like take you in the most maybe not the most direct route, but the most sensible route. We're going to keep you low. We're going to like aim for the gentlest slope of the mountain. And it was just so refreshing to be like, oh, this is a trail like designed for people to actually use as a trail. Yeah. 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 It was very nice. Very pleasant. Yeah. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, and the that finger like difference in 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 the trail systems and and the parts of the trail. Yeah, yeah, and, and the Finger Lakes Trail, like it was still like you had those beautiful moments throughout it, like the entire day. Like those farmers' fields were beautiful, but like there's something about going down, going down a trail system. And um, sorry, I got distracted. A text message popped up on the screen, but um. There's something said about going down a trail system. And even if it's like you have half a mile of road, then half a mile of farmer field, then half a mile trail, then five miles of trail, then five miles of road. It's like somewhere in your subconscious, it breaks up. Like you can't hit the You cruise. can't get into you can't, an automatic Yeah, you can't get step. into like the cruise of like just a, like the Laney National Forest of like, I have 150 miles of trail that's not really broken up. Like, yeah, there might be road walks, but it's a, consistent trail system so there's like 
different feels around each one, even outside of the kind of fuse. It's kind of like that subconscious thought around the trail too. So yeah. it's been it's been a good blend of flavor so far. And this is also the first time the Allegheny National Forest actually has a lot of there's an NCTA chapter that takes oh, yeah. care of it. And it's the first time that we've been on a trail that is just the NCT. Yeah. That's, that's super what cool. the trail is. Just okay. blue blazes again. That's it's really cool. It's designed for the NCT. It's not using any other trail system. Yeah. It is just this trail that we're on. We're like, it's an NCT sign. Oh my God. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we're a thousand miles into the trail. We're like, oh, wow. This is just <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And we also, uh, we got to meet some uh, Allegheny, part of the chapter. So there's a chapter that takes care of the Allegheny National Forest NCTA. And we got to meet those trail maintainers, or at least part of the batch. And we actually shared a lunch with them. And it was funny because, like, we're curious with the trails we've done and, like, the interactions we've had with trail agencies and stuff is, like, to manage a beast of this size, like, how would you actually do that like what's the what's the structure what's the power structure how does it tear down like where does it how branch do where does it branch out with it? they didn't know either they were part of the ncta and they didn't know. we're like oh yeah it's so like this thing in ohio does something weird like why why is it like this and they're like i have no idea yeah. this is i only work on this part <laughs> we were asking like how long is the trail like where does it go from here and like they're like don't know and I, we were asking like what do the other chapters do don't, don't know, know. So it's very it's very compartmentalized sounds like yeah, yeah for sure. this is your like little spot yeah. and that's it <laughs> and they're like we have 100 miles that's what we yeah. have we're like yeah. okay <laughs> i mean logistically managing it would be a nightmare I, because they did know enough that there's like regional managers and but some regional managers like there's four or five so each regional manager is taking care of a thousand miles of trail and then that person whoever that is has to manage all these sub chapters underneath and it's just oh it's, it's a lot of work it's, it's a lot of work so yeah, yeah. We, th we thank them a lot and it was just it was cool to see that yeah well that's not <laughs> i don't i hope you don't mind i'm gonna eat a donut i didn't balance the screen on top of the donut box this time because i remembered from the last time <laughs> how much what, you wanted to eat a donut yes <laughs> How many donuts April? did you find? Uh, so he bought, um, let's see, 18 donuts. Okay. Oh, <laughs> too many. That's a dozen, and then there's six. It's a small day. It's a small day. We got, We've got, we got the first dozen. Three down already. And then we have we got filled donuts. An extra me. six just in case. You got to get the backup six to he be safe. He doesn't like donuts with stuff inside, and I do. So he was like, well, I was like, why don't we just get a mixed dozen? He's like, no. <laughs> we know, she she likes to think that we don't eat as much as we do she's like oh we're, we're gonna only be here well we're taking a zero a bit, so yeah. we did buy more food than we would otherwise yeah. but also but i'm like the walmart is right across the street we can just go get more food when we want to and he's like no we're not leaving <laughs> it's gonna go all down within the next few hours it's it's gonna be impressive again just like the cookie box it's it's gonna be some work yeah for sure. Okay. Um. <laughs> when did you arrive in town? <clears throat> Actually, uh, pretty pretty late. Four hours ago. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so, to even today, up. excuse me. You have to fuel up. <laughs> yeah. So, so I mean, even today, it's kind of like the what we think the NCT is going to be a lot of the time. Like, we had about thirteen miles to get to town. And it turned into 15, 15 and a half, and a half oh. because of close of land closures. Because a lot of the trail, when it's not in those big bulks of national park, not national park, national forest or state land, is easements through private land. And so there so, was a big chunk of trail that was closed for logging, and it was obviously really recent. Like they just had like a piece of paper taped on the trail mm -hmm. with the caution tape that was like take this road around and like meet it and it ended up being two and a half miles longer but there was no way we could have known that ahead of time so we just like oh it was actually such a bummer because we were like just starting we're like we're, we're under 10 miles to town yes like we're gonna be there soon and then we get there and we're like trail closure two miles more great <laughs> yeah. yeah now we have 12 and a half miles to town again yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. so frustrating yeah and 
Yes. Yeah, it's 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 a little bit at the town day, but we knew we were going to zero tomorrow. Um, the weather is terrible. Weather is coming in. Mm -hmm. Just finished a section that we hadn't had a town stop in like a hundred. It was closer to 190. It was like 187 that we did without a stop in between. Um, and then we haven't had a zero in eight, 800 miles. So it was kind of like, okay, the timing is working out good. We're not going to stress ourselves too much. Um, get there when we get there today, today and um, just figure it out. So I think the other thing too is that I have to, I should show you our shoes. Oh yeah. Uh, that's not a really bad one, but I basically, I ordered some shoes from Amazon and they're not here yet. So we'd have Absolutely. to wait until tomorrow. Did they get there? Yeah. Our shoes were like flip flops okay. for the past seven days. Like literally the seams on both sides, you can see completely through them. The only piece that's holding it together is this little strap of leather, the leather band that connects it, but all the mesh, I can grab mine real quick. Yeah, I found it. Um, oh, yep. Yeah. <laughs> let's, let's see if I can grab mine. So there's a hole here and then a small hole there. I can stick my entire hand through yeah, this if I care to, but I don't. Yours are just as bad. My other shoe is like slightly better, but not much. Yeah, we're gonna have to clean this table off the, after this, but yeah, it's nasty. So the only piece that's uh -huh. holding it holding it together is this oh, little yeah. strap of leather right here. Yeah. And if that goes, we would have just been in straight flip-flops i mean it's just and it it was hurting it started to hurt the feet near the end of that too yeah so my shoes won't arrive until tomorrow so we have to stay yeah i'm eating a donut after touching the shoes i mean you've done worse things <laughs> <laughs> that's true yeah mm -mm. you get the same shoes mm -hmm. yeah. yeah exact same one yeah. well actually no i ordered the I noted the new version of Ultras, which are yeah. essentially the same, but yeah. Yeah, I, I think we had touched on this is like, even though we want to start moving away from them, can't play with it right now, especially in the middle of a through hike. No. It, it's just, we were looking for in Ellicottville, the last town, they had a little gear store there, and we were looking for other shoes just to tie us over until here. And just yeah didn't want to play with it the feet are already getting hammered enough that yeah mm -mm, don't want to put more stress on them no, kind makes of sense idea. yeah no but ellicottville we can tell the story about the cool uh outdoor guy outdoor oh, the guy who runs the outdoor store mm -hmm. who also runs a coffee shop in peru yeah okay and so yeah he like apparently he like spends six months because Ellicottville is actually a ski town, so I think he's not there. He's there in the winter and then goes to Peru for the winter there. Um, and so that gear store we had such high hopes for, but was really more oriented towards like winter sports. And in the summer, it's just a coffee shop. But the guy was so nice. He was very cool. We came in and he like saw us with our packs. We're all smelly. We haven't even gotten to the hotel yet. And he's like, oh, you guys like, doing the Finger Lakes Trail and we're like so excited yes this is, and the first, this is the first person that actually knew what we were doing like super stoked about it too we told him that we're doing the NCT got really excited he's like gave us free coffee he gave us free bagels he yeah. like he's like oh if you guys need anything I'll give you the employee discount like oh <laughs> nice it, we didn't end up buying anything there but it was still really awesome and it was yeah. funny because he was just a unique guy that he just like he was passionate about coffee hiking was just like something on the side <laughs> so like he used he changed his business model from it used to be an outdoor store like with a small coffee shop into a big coffee shop with, with a, a small <laughs> <laughs> so he was just geeking out over the coffee and like it's like yeah we got some shoes and then he just takes us down to a room just filled with random shoes and we're like okay you like coffee we get it yeah <laughs> <laughs> takes us to the clearance section it's like all sandals we're like mm, yeah. oh, that's don't think so but thank no. you <laughs> <laughs> thanks for that. yeah yeah well, let's keep going. Uh, are you guys yeah. into coffee much i i like coffee okay but but i'm not like into it into it no, no, no. my my advice when i get to town is 
I try to limit the soda intake. So like, this is a small, I don't know what the it's, scale it's you can see. It's, it's a baby, it's a baby this is can. A regular soda. So yeah. try to limit the intake of this. I might have two of these in town, um, which is still the size of maybe one big soda, but try to, yeah, coffee, not so much. Um, I used to be a big coffee guy on trail, but I try to tear off everything that I can become dependent on on trail, which is hard to do, but coffee has started to tear its way out. I tried to do coffee to get rid of the cheese and protein powder blockage while on trail. <laughs> but I did it one morning and it didn't work. So no, coffee's not a thing for me out there. No, no. <laughs> no. Mm -mm. Yeah, I do a Starbucks via packet in the morning, but like, yeah, yeah, it's, it's just more habit, habit than yeah. anything. Yeah. Also, like, helps you get so it helps me get water down in camp because I usually come to camp with. I try to go go to bed with a full two and a half liters. I'm like, okay, well, I have to drink at least half a liter of this so I don't have to transfer water in the morning. <laughs> yeah. And then I make my half liter coffee in the morning, and it's still hydrating. So I slam that back first thing, and then I'm ready to go for the day. Yeah. We need. She does good with the water. We need to tell her to start eating more donuts, though. She's okay. been losing an absurd amount of weight. I'm mean, losing like, it's a not... regular amount of weight. This is the amount of weight I usually lose. <laughs> mm -hmm. We need. We got the Bavarian creams over here ready to rock. So yeah. if you want to eat five, oh, we could do a speed eating race on here. Y'all want to see something no. special? Oh, <laughs> I don't eat eats. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, but I mean, they did have chicken tenders at the Walmart and the jalapeno yeah. poppers. Yeah. I'll never, okay. So this one time in Arizona, I was in line for the deli oh, she at the Walmart. Like I'm so mad about this, this two yeah. years ago. Uh, and I was in line and they had 10 chicken tenders left at the Walmart. And I was like, those are for me. Those are mine. I'm starving. I want those chicken tenders. Uh -huh. How to turn out. And then this, this rather large lady got in the <laughs> line, looked at me, looked at the line, <laughs> looked at the chicken tenders and cut in front of me. And she took all of the chicken tenders. <laughs> it's been two years. It's, it's been two years and Magpie does not let it go. I mean, at the time I was quite mad. Now it's just funny, but yeah, I was like, funny took story. my chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> and so I get up to the deli case and I look at the girl behind. I'm like, you don't have any more of them in the back, do you? And she goes, I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got something yeah. else, I'm sure. I don't remember what. Though. It's not as good as the chicken tenders. So this Walmart, we went and we bought all of their chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> We've been doing good on the food. Like, quick, get to the deli. Go. <laughs> Magpie was on a mission. Yeah. 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 Needed this time. That's good. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. yeah. We do good on food. Yeah, we do. Yeah. <laughs> but can you gain enough in just the one two days? Because it's it's got to be a long trail ahead still. So even if you're yeah. losing weight on a regular pace, it is quite a long, long yeah. a, a long time still. Yeah, I was, it took a while for the hiker hunger to kick in on this one. I think because I was injured, I had that tendonitis problem yep. last time we talked, which is healed up now really well, but it's just hard to feel hungry when you're in pain. Yeah. So I've, it's really hard to eat when you're in the pain. last two weeks, especially the last like section I've yeah. been now going, so I, like I've usually rationed my food by like, these are my five hip belt snacks and I've been consistently getting to the end of the day and they're gone as opposed to the last couple of sections where it's like oh I still have two or three in there darn it yeah so I'm back up to my like 3,000 calorie a day goal on trail so I think it's just going to level out yeah it might not be possible to gain weight but it's possible to plateau and not lose more okay so like with the weights we're at right now it's like right on that line um when I finished up the New England trail, I was skinnier and that was too much deprivation for my body. So like where we're at right now is like sustainable. It's just, you have to funnel food in a lot to even keep this weight line. So the donuts are a joke, but they're also, they're also, they're also just necessary at a certain point. They're a um, very efficient way to deliver calories yeah. because it's sugary and fried. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. And Taco Bell. And ta well, Taco Bell is also a good way to get things out of your stomach, actually. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Not great. There's a bit more fiber in there. <laughs> yeah. 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 
Get some roughage in you. Yeah. Uh, donut roughage. Sprinkles. They got green sprinkles on it. And That's a vegetable. Sprinkles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but it's it's been a it's been a good trail we've been. I think since we last chatted, I don't is it. No, is it's it not frozen. I think once we since we last chatted, we were climbing in our average and trying to hold the pace that we were looking for, like 30s. Yeah. And now we're starting to hit that every single day, which is good. Yeah. So Perfect. when we're on trail, we don't have many days that are below a 30. Like the days that we do that we need to either work on or still play with the schedule a little bit is the coming into town days and the leaving out of town days but then when we're waking up on trail the in-betweens were hitting 30s or above every single day so that's the pace that we're needing to hit and we're yeah. comfortably hitting it now so we're we're pretty happy with how we're holding it if the one day that we did less than 30 in this section excluding the day that we left town was um we were planning to do four more miles and then the thunderstorm that had been threatening all day like started and yep. we were at a campsite so we we're like uh yeah. no that's not happening and it poured all night and so we we're like yeah that was a good decision yeah and we packed out at ellicottsville because we knew this was going to be a 180 mile se section but we also packed out an absurd amount of food you pour packed out way too much food it feels like this episode is like show and tell a little bit but I could show you guys something truly special. You all, you all want to see something? Oh, your food bag is still got like four. It's, not, it's food. not the food bag. It's, oh my there's, god! It's gonna it's gonna be something really special. It's like show well, and tell. Can't smell it. So yeah, it but they'll be, be they'll special. be able to see it though. <laughs> all right. <laughs> you know where the where you know where it is? Yeah, I know right where it is. Oh god, I can't believe you haven't thrown that out already. I should have. Yeah, you should have. Oh dude, that's so gross. All right, so. It's in three layers of Ziplocs and I can smell it already. <laughs> you, got, you guys know how I like, you know, guys know how I like to find my goals, right? Yep. yep. <laughs> it smells so, <laughs> it smells so bad. It smells so bad. I hadn't, I hadn't opened up my pack yet. This is how fresh to town we are. But so I packed out, what was it? 10 hot dogs um, for this 180 mile section thinking I would do them for the first two or three days of lunches so they wouldn't go bad. Um, you don't want hot dogs past the third day. Third day is a little iffy. Yeah. Um, why are you all the way back there? So um, <laughs> I'm staying over here till they go it's away. It's so bad. <laughs> um, so the first day out of town, I just don't think I was hungry, so I didn't break into them. Then the second day, we passed through Salamanca, which had a McDonald's, which we did for lunch. And then at the third day, it was becoming a goal of, okay, well, now I have, no, I ate them the third day. You did. It was hot also. Like these first two days were like hot. And That's so good. when I was opening up my lunch bag, eat, I'm like, oh, my cheese is going a little slimy. And then I was like, oh, you have hot dogs. So, yeah. So I did, I did eat two of them the third day and the hour afterwards, it felt like my entire bi body was feverish. Yeah. Like it, my body was trying to burn away the, the death pretty much. So then at this point, I figured out I can't get rid of them. We're in the middle of nowhere. Well, you wanted, he was trying to eat them on the fourth day. And oh. I was like, no, <laughs> your fever, hot dog fever was a warning. Your body is telling you the next time you try to eat these, you're going to throw up. Yeah. Yeah. So at that point, it became a goal that it wouldn't have been leave no trace to throw them in a lake or dig them in a hole. Or you can't ditch stuff that you carry into the forest, even if it's food. So I have been carrying, oh, this is going to be rough. Oh I have God. been carrying. So good that we can't smell it. <laughs> I have been, been carrying a pound of hot dogs for 187 miles. They leak so much more juice. Oh, my God. <laughs> it's, so, it's so bad right now in this room. This smell is it's truly it's, it's terrible. Unique. It's, it's oh. so bad. But I carried a pound of rancid he meat. He passed for garbage cans and eventually. he insisted on carrying them because then it had to be a goal. I'm like, it's a pound of hot dogs <laughs> that makes your entire pack stink like a dead animal. No, he had to carry the hot dog. And it of course, every day he's like, hey, Magpie, you want a hot dog? <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> so. So there's trail angels that we told you about. Wait, I gotta film them later, but yeah, just put them, yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna eat those later. But um, 
So those trail angels we were telling you about yesterday and then the fifth, they kept offering to take the trash out for us. And I'm like, guys, I wish I could. I really wish I could. And then I would, I would show them the hot dog. So I gave show that and tell to them too. And it was about the same reaction. They were a little gross out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, they could probably smell it. I'm really glad that we can't smell it through here, but. <laughs> it's, it's bad. Yeah. I found a goal and it was a rough, it was a rough goal. Yeah, it's always a, it's always a team it's always a team goal when you hike with your partner though, right? Oh, it's very interesting. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was okay. that was rough. Yeah. 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 So, what different choices will you make food wise for the next next leg of the trail? Um. <sighs> Well, the I'm next gonna... we haven't actually looked at the maps too hard for the next section yet because we just got to town, so we just put on stupid reality TV and ate chicken. Um, <laughs> but uh, so we're going to be passing through a bunch of smaller towns on our way out of this town, so we're not going to have to pack out nearly as much. No. And then, so I think our next bigger town stop Darlington. is going to be Darlington because um, 150 miles, 150 miles, 140 miles. So about five days, four, four days. Um, so not nearly as big of a carry. So we can do light, lighter packs. And uh, there's a couple of small towns that we walk right through that have convenience stores. So it's like we pack out two days, we buy a little extra, maybe yeah. we pack out four dinners. But um, I left ordering Constantine's birthday presents too late for shipping to work out for Clarion. So we have to stop in Darlington because there's some stuff sitting in the post office in Darlington, oh. so. Yeah. And for that resupply question, I was actually deferring to Magpie because I don't think I have the privilege to answer that anymore. She She's gonna do take all resupply questions because I don't think she lets me alone in a grocery store I, no, anymore. I don't think, well, we'll see, I trusted you the last time. And you bought hot yeah. dogs. Yeah. So like every time that a mistake is made in the grocery store, we'll get back to the room after resupply. And she's like, that what was the, you do? she's like, that's <laughs> the five seconds I wasn't supervising you, wasn't it? You ran back and grabbed that stupid item. And I'm like, yeah, I really wanted it. I got the Ellicottville super, uh, the supermarket in Ellicottville was really, it was a large selection of items in a very small physical space. Yeah. And yeah. it was a weekend and there were tourists and nobody was wearing masks and they were nobody was spatially aware whatsoever and so i'm like dancing around trying to stay six feet away from people i'm like ah, yeah. and i got so stressed out that comes like can i get this can i get that can i get this i'm like just buy what you want i can't deal with this also yeah. so and then he packed out like 18 pounds of food or something it was <laughs> wow ridiculous it was it was I mean, I don't think I've published pictures of it, but I think it, it's in the videos. I filmed the food bag the first day. Like, I didn't notice until we got to camp the food first day, but that is the biggest resupply I've done on any trail system ever. And I don't know why. Like, I don't know why, but my food bag was literally, like, this wide, and it was it was terrible. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, so I, I will be handling the resupply decision-making from now on. Yeah. <laughs> A bit yeah. of a better combination of protein, carbs, fibers. It's just fiber. I just need more fiber. You um, just need to not eat only cheese. That's really the. And you, yeah. you buy stuff that you're like, I don't even like this. Put it in the cart. Like, why did you buy that then? <laughs> <laughs> That's just the way. I, I think if I can't complain about my food in hiking, I'm not hiking well. So it's, it's a it's a subconscious thing there, I guess. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, besides the Allegheny moving forward, um, at least for the foreseeable future, even not looking super in depth into the maps coming out of here, we do start getting into, we have like 150 miles left in PA and then we have Ohio. And with our pace, we're going to be passing little corner stores or like if the route's going to put us near a gas station enough that we're going to be able to keep the resupply super, super light, like all the time. Some parts of Ohio, we go through a town every day. Yeah. So it's like, don't even pack out food, really. It's like we eat protein bar for breakfast, get in town, have lunch in town, buy something for dinner 
like town food and then hike to our camp spot. And then the next day we wake up and it's like 10 miles later, there's another town. So we won't even really need to do resupply proper for a while. We'll be able to keep the packs pretty light. Um, And that's going to build into higher miles. And yeah, that was the biggest chunk of change that we have for until probably Michigan again. That's like the longest stretch of resupply. Mm. Yeah. That's for sure. Yeah. 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 I'm not going to pack out hot dogs again. No, no. <laughs> up until you get to the grocery time. store and find hot dogs. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it smells so bad in this room. I didn't realize until I opened that bag up again, but it's, I miss the original smell of this room, which, which was wasn't, just, it wasn't which wasn't great either. It's just hiker stink, <laughs> but now it's like hikers, hot dog stink, which is, yeah, I'm gonna have to chuck those. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go find the cleaning stuff. <laughs> You're gonna have to go find the dumpster outside and throw yeah. them out. <laughs> yeah outside of the window maybe yeah <laughs> it doesn't open um, it doesn't open <laughs> yeah 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 oh that's so. good but how's the, yeah. the gear holding up except besides the shoes yeah shoes are disposable but yeah. Yeah. everything else i think is working well yeah i mean yeah oh this is a momentous thing i bought a sports bra <laughs> Because it's too sweaty. (laughs) I haven't hiked out east ever. And so I'm like, nah, I don't need it. It's like, why would I want something extra on my shoulders, like to get pushed in by my pack? Like it's just uncomfortable, but it's too, too sweaty. I was getting chafed in places I would rather not be chafed. No. Um, And so, and also it's just so hot that I was like, I want to be able to take my shirt off. Like, that's been what I've been saying since day one. Let's hike shirtless. Yeah. Well, now you got your wish. (laughs) <laughs> so but yeah it's one thing that i have to eat my words on because someone i said on a video like someone was like oh what's the most overrated piece of gear and i was like bras burn your bra and i'm like mm, gotta eat those words yeah how do you hiking you need need something yeah, yeah. You need a modesty panel at the very least it's the amount of stickiness your skin gets being in that humidity oh. all day it's yep. it's something uniquely out east hiking but like is... a frog it was just like moistness and just <laughs> sticky Ew. yeah <laughs> yeah so i don't i don't have a bra which i'm kind of upset about now but <laughs> but um I, I i don't think any other gear yeah yeah really it's holding up I'm, well i think the other thing too is i the tent that we got maybe i mentioned this last time but like oh, the tent yeah. that we got it was my second choice and i was a little bit bummed about it but yeah. i'm like i mean any piece of gear that you use so consistently you start to develop a relationship with but i what i didn't know when i bought it is that it's got a gear loft so it's Ooh. got like this little pocket off the top of it that you can put your stuff in because it's a very small footprint it's just got enough room for us inside of it and the gear loft is excellent i've never yeah. i haven't had one in a tent for a long time and it's so nice to be able to put like hat, sunglasses, like all the bags for the tent in there and know that it's not going to get lost underneath. Like, yeah, so gear loft super sweet. I am significantly happier with the tent than I thought I would be. That's oh, good. that's really good. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then pack um, one of those aluminum stays is coming out the bottom, but been able to hike on that before with the same type of pack for 3,000 more miles. So besides slapping some duct tape on it or sewing it up a little bit not gonna change anything there sleeping bag good clothes good yeah all the gear is pretty pretty much good um it's just the shoes that really wear and tear on us um we might end up getting some permethrin at the walmart across the street um for this upcoming section because we have been pulling off more ticks from us um so we might treat some of our stuff with permethrin at least the shoes and socks um because Mm -hmm. the amount of ticks that we're picking off is not preferable um don't don't like those that those moments so so far yeah. no Lyme disease yeah. symptoms no yeah. no that's, that's good, good. yeah, yeah. but I think we, we chat it oh, sorry go ahead sorry but it was one of the questions from the last video that we did someone asked indeed about the ticks whether there were a lot of ticks around along the route um so that's that's a yes <laughs> Very yeah good. we've had at least I think probably 15 ticks each at least at least 15 ticks each um i pulled off another five today it's been the past three days yeah i pulled three off today after my shower 
and like I had two yesterday like we're, we're getting a tick or two every single day like our routine before camp is like we eat dinner, we set up, and then we like strip and are like, all right, can you check my back? Like, yeah. it's like full tick check every day. We usually play party music too while this is happening. Oh yeah, <laughs> you gotta play that like burlesque music yeah. while you're like searching your partner's body for insects, <laughs> sexy. Yeah, so sexy. Um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you really enjoy that, don't you? I think it's really funny. <laughs> you got a good crack, crack out of that. I just said, it's a great mental image. I just uh, saw a chick dancing in like a feather bow in my head. <laughs> no. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, yeah, so there's ticks. They're starting to come out and we're trying our best to avoid them. But yeah. if you saw, yeah, as you saw with those pictures, um, a lot of the trail around us is super overgrown. And even sometimes the trail itself is overgrown if maintenance hasn't gotten there or it's a super soggy patch of land or you can't maintain all of it so a lot of the time even if we're walking on maintained trail on a 30 mile day you're going to hit at least at least six or seven yeah. miles of knee high grass or, or br brushy stuff that that's where you're going to probably get the ticks from yeah yeah i've been getting them on my wrists and hands a lot actually which is weird yeah i think it might just because i i wear long pants and a long shirt and so they just can't get anywhere else they yeah. like get on my pack and then they come down mm -hmm. but it makes it easy to find although they're actually really tough to see in my tattoos yeah, yeah. yeah. i'm like that was a poor choice black ink yeah <laughs> <laughs> black ticks black ink doesn't work so well well if a tick turned a color when it got it leased onto you like sucked your blood that would be nice oh man you could no that's gonna be a terrible joke i withheld the joke <laughs> <laughs> um yeah it takes no good no yeah. no definitely no that's yeah. the one thing we don't miss here i haven't encountered any ticks so far in yeah. europe definitely uh um, some forest leeches. Here, leeches yes but that's no not all right, we quit. We're going up there. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 is super uh, super awesome about Australia, though. I mean, well, yeah. everything else wants to kill you there. Yeah, I was so. just about yeah. to say that that's the only thing we don't have. But <laughs> we've got other all, stuff. All the yeah. other things that that are around kill you. <laughs> but but if it's big enough, you can see it coming, right? Well, yeah, I guess you can. Like show but the, the other smallest day. the smallest spiders are the most deadly. Oh no. Some the snakes are very tiny uh, and they don't yeah. move and they only strike at the last second so you won't see them. Um, oh, that's great. Those are very venomous then as well. So they're called death adders. So yeah. <laughs> oh that's lovely. Yeah. <laughs> is, there, <laughs> is there any preventive measures you can do? Like you would just wear gaiters or wear some type of ankle, ankle okay. high boots so or something? Generally, clothing already is already. A bit of a prevention because loose sitting loose sitting clothing already um yeah probably makes it harder for them to get through into the skin yeah. um but gators would be mm. an alternative uh, to really be sure but mm. yeah that it's just the standard queensland outfit which is flip-flops and shorts that's gonna be terrible yeah yeah but the queensland outfit yeah <laughs> where'd that come from that's what you see out there a lot uh, that's how he coined it, the, the guy that was giving that presentation and showing all the snakes. But it's true, uh, no. but it's, oh, yeah. it, it's, it's, it's always nice, it's warm, it's humid, so people just wear yeah. shorts and flip-flops, yeah. All year round. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. That's not contingent with walking through thick brush or something. It's like, oh, I'll put this foot that's everything's exposed to in the middle of this brush. Yeah. <laughs> but it's it, it was an eye-opener, though, because I always felt that snakes here like if you walk quite loudly they would go away but this for most cases yeah. in most snakes it's the case but i but didn't know that there was one particular snake that was just like no nah, i'm not going anywhere <laughs> yeah like yeah. I, I can I kill you i'm not moving yeah yeah. <laughs> yeah oh yeah i'm glad we don't got that yeah we did actually have we had a, it was not a venomous snake but our campsite last oh, night uh we yeah. had this great big black uh it's called a rat snake and okay. they just eat mice and stuff they're but she was probably four and a half feet long and 
like that thick yeah. and she was just prowling around the shelter looking i guess because shelters always have mice yeah and so yeah like the one of the guys we were with like picked her up by the tail and like wrangled her all the way and like chucked her in another bush 10 minutes later she's like back just like doing laps of the campsite yeah i thought it was really cool but um uh what was her name munch was like i don't like snakes like oh no <laughs> it, it was pretty cool it was it was like a what four foot five foot oh, yeah four and a half feet long probably yeah that was pretty cool not yeah. venomous though so even yeah, if, even if it fits yeah. yeah yeah it just hurt yeah it just hurt yeah yeah. And I would, yeah. If you know it's not venomous, then you can yeah. enjoy it and then really see the magnificent, magnificent, what is it? Yeah. That's the word? <laughs> snake. <laughs> Here it's like if you see a snake now, just run. Go. <laughs> yeah. I still wouldn't, I still wouldn't pet it, but I would definitely, uh, yeah, not be as worried about just seeing it go around, around the camp. Um, oh, you guys got the sun rising for y'all, huh? There we go. There we go. <laughs> now we can see it. <laughs> All of a sudden, it's very cloudy today. But... Yeah. yeah. Oh, very cool. Yeah. So it's been. I mean, it's it's hard to think of of all the stories that happened in the past seven hundred yeah. miles, but it's been it's been a lot of good good cruising. Um, just every week it seems like we've been stepping up the mileage, the average, um, the mentality around it. Um, still haven't had the thoughts about really the end yet. Besides, it's too far away. Yeah, it doesn't feel tangible yet because you can't really lock onto that thought. So just no. been cruising, just been just been enjoying it. Um, I'm excited for Ohio. I'm I'm personally really excited for Ohio. It feels really good to get into another yeah, state. Yeah, that feels good yeah. too. That's like mentally, even if the trail, even if the Allegheny National Forest wasn't such excellent trail, which it is, it would still be like put some pep in the step. We're like, yeah, we're done New York. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> and New York took us such a long time. It's it's a, quite a long distance, but also it was right at the beginning before I was really in trail shape. So it's and we're like Pennsylvania is like almost done. We're halfway done Pennsylvania already. So it makes us feel like we're going even faster because it's only yeah. 280 miles. So yeah. yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. I'm sorry, I don't have to eat on these things if y'all if y'all it doesn't it doesn't mess up the video footage, does it? All good. Should be good. <laughs> okay, okay. It's cinema verite. Okay. <laughs> it's just I can't no. Nah. It's hard when they're right in front of me. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I just wanted to make sure if you guys didn't want me to, I could, I could no, withhold okay. for a little bit. <laughs> enjoy oh, the chocolate ones. Are it's good to see you guys. Thank you. Yeah, see that you guys are yeah. enjoying it and everything's yeah. going well. Yeah. Um, not having. Yeah. it's been really good. It's been really good. enjoying the. Yeah, it's been it's been really good. Yeah. yeah. It's always nice to like, I don't know. I want to I I hear her answer. I'm going to yeah. wait for her to answer first while I eat the donut. We always just have a good time when we're hiking together, even though our dynamic sometimes, especially on film, because I also think it's funny just to be kind of a grouch when he's like making jokes. I enjoy my role as the straight man <laughs> um, being like, that's gross. Why are you doing that? Uh, but we always have a good time when we're hiking together. And like, we actually have more conversations than get shown on camera like we have longer talks and we spend a lot of time just like enjoying the scenery kind of in a companionable silence mm -hmm. and yeah it's really nice well like yeah it's been i love i love how she described it it's been really nice and like a couple days ago i came rant yeah rant's a good word i came out with about like a nine or ten minute kind of rant because as our channel is becoming more popular as we're hiking, it's drawing different people, different demographics and all that stuff. And hate's not the right word, but it's people are starting to express. People are being we're not a their, little snarky. Yeah, we're, we're not their flavor. We're not their flavor yeah. of hiker. We're not their flavor of person. And they're being kind of unkind. So we came out. You. I came out, yeah, with a rant for about nine minutes because what I film is usually what's on my head and what we're doing each day. That's the type of film I do. Yeah. And it was kind of on the fact of like, what I film is heavily, heavily joke, joke based. Like, and I forget sometimes that he I might film. He's only filming clips. Yeah. And so it's like, he makes 
a joke. We have like a little spar back and forth. It's silly. Three hours go by, we have a long conversation, and then he starts filming again when he's making another silly joke. Yeah, because that's what interests me. So that, the film that's ends what ends up being like joke, 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 a little bit of hiking content, joke, joke, joke. Yeah. And he doesn't realize that until he's like watching the video back and he's like, oh, oh no, oh no. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, yeah, it, it, it portrays a different type of person. It, it portrays a side that is just the side that I film of, the stuff that makes me laugh when I'm on trail or makes us laugh because you have to laugh when you're having these long days and you entertain yourself on trail. So like I'm filming the stuff that's entertaining to me, not necessarily like the two hour long conversations we have are super interesting. It's just, you can't film that. You can't film a two hour long conversation each day. So yeah, there was some, there's some feelings about that the You're past still few days. About it. Yeah, so but I, he I, said his piece. I said my piece and yeah, let it go. Yeah, I mean you can't please everyone, right? And True. indeed, like you said, yeah. everyone's flavor. And you don't have to be. Um yeah. but yeah, but, it's, yeah. it's definitely but, always annoying to get yeah. Comments. I recognize that feeling though, because we have it sometimes as well that people make nasty comments about posters that we make and like but if you don't like it, just scroll past it and just shush it. Yes. Yeah. Like <laughs> but, such that, a nasty comment. Um, yeah, it, does it doesn't it blow person in about you i feel yeah. so uh yeah. yeah yeah and doesn't it blow your mind that it takes time and energy away from their day yeah to do this it's like <laughs> you're spending this amount of time and this amount of energy to actively do something it's just mind-boggling to me yeah. so yeah I, I came out with that one clip and then haven't touched on it until until now again but now touched yeah. on it in videos. He's been talking to me about this for a while. I just why are why are people like this? Well, they just want to irritate you. Yeah. Well, I'm irritated. Yes. <laughs> they're women. <laughs> they're women. Yeah. yeah. Little do they know I'm stubborn enough to hike four thousand seven hundred miles. So On pure spite. <laughs> yeah, stubbornness here is where we'll see. We'll see the longevity. Yeah. Yeah. But no, we've been having a good time. We've been having a good time, yeah. Espe yeah. I mean, especially with the Allegheny. I was getting, I have to say, very frustrated with the Finger Lakes Trail <laughs> and its shenanigans. <laughs> it's not its fault. It's not the fault of the trail that it's a difficult place to route it. And the, you know, set up for day hikers, that's fine. We're not doing it the way that they meant us to. But by the end of it, I was like, I am so ready to be done with this trail. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to be somewhere else. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, luckily, yeah, that yeah. something completely different came after that instead yeah. of more of the same. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll see how Ohio is. I yeah. suspect I suspect it'll be some of, some more of the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. There's going to be a lot of road walking, which is awesome. <laughs> Your favorite. Yeah. <laughs> Not necessarily my favorite, but I don't mind. I don't mind it. Yeah. It's just you're walking all day anyway. It's a bigger path at some point, as long as it's not a highway. I don't yeah. like walking highways. No. Yeah. yeah. If I if I did have to pick between like pure roadwalk or like roadwalk broken up by little sections of trail, I think I would also pick pure roadwalk. Mm. Okay. Because you yeah, can then you're not. Sorry. You can get into a pace easier and just. Yeah, mm. and then when you know that there's a section of trail coming up in two miles or whatever. You don't get to just like turn your brain off and you're like, I'm just on this road for six hours, yeah. just like yeah. head done out, just like check out of it. You have to pay attention and try to find the trailhead. Yeah. And then, and this is, of course, purely in a through hiking context, like section hiking. If I went to go plan like a 50 mile trail, I would hate road walk. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm not going to spend two or three days of what I'm planning. And half of it's a yeah. road. Yeah. I'm not going to be like, oh, I want to go walk this road right now. It's. Yeah. But through hiking when you're on a long long trail yeah 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 that yeah. makes sense yeah, yeah. cool yes. that was awesome well yeah i mean was there anything else we didn't touch on oh probably a hundred things but... <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> not nothing specific, i could i think no that i have any any more questions no it's been a good catch-up for yeah. sure it's always just amazing yeah. to hear how you guys are doing, how you've experienced the the less stretch and yeah. 
what a fun story. Yeah, it's, 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 so. yeah. <laughs> always something new with this one. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, always new, it's always new goals. It's always new goals. I mean, this episode could have been purely show and tell, but like, I also have the spam that is now 900 miles strong that I haven't eaten. So <laughs> that is still that is still a okay. That goal is still cemented in there. Um, any other weird goals I had this section? I'm not going to remind you of them. <laughs> I had a lot more weird goals. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm I'm sorry. It becomes just like weird stories. <laughs> like if you guys have like legit questions i really hope we can answer them it's just sometimes it becomes weird tangent stories and i think i think yeah. i've said this before I, yeah so I'm, I'm sorry about the weird tangents no no no, no we've put them, the cover. questions we had we yeah. we did so there were serious parts as well so no yeah. all good <laughs> because yeah i mean with the nct and how long it is we do want to be able to provide more information for yeah. people that have those types of questions and since we're experiencing it, each footstep, any questions that we can answer, we, we want to be able to help the next generation or anybody that's interested in it. So, mm -hmm. and we'll also tell you about hot dogs we carry along the way. Yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was really good to catch up. Yeah, yeah. yeah it's been awesome easy. to catch up, definitely. Yeah. With uh, final, finalizing um, Pennsylvania. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. then uh, getting into Ohio. Yeah, exciting. Yes. We'll be in Ohio for a full month. <laughs> <laughs> a giant loop. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Perfect. Yeah. Awesome. Well, and enjoy well, your zero day as well. Yeah. Thank oh, you. Yeah. Thank you. Take it easy. And um, we'll catch up next time. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we'll, talk to you again soon. What were you going to say? We will punish some donuts for y'all. We will absolutely oh, yeah. punish some donuts. Do that. Yep. Yes. Whew, I already feel sick. Right. <laughs> <laughs> good luck with that. Like yes. <laughs> See ya. All right, guys. Have a good one. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Bye.